you can now access all of our videos from class 9th to 12th on our app. Download it now through link given in the description. Hello everyone, as you all know, the second batch of JE is now just a week away. It was the first year when JE is being held twice. And therefore, it's a great opportunity for all of you to put your best foot forward by improving upon the mistakes which you have made in the January's batch. Our experts at Avanti have analyzed JE previous year papers and JE January's paper. Based on this, we would like to tell you what to expect from the exam, and which sections need to be focused on. We will also be looking at the solutions to some of the questions which came in the January's attempt. So if the questions with the similar concept come again, you will be able to score much better this time. Let us start by looking at the overview of the January paper and we will see what learnings we can take from that paper. Conceptual clarity and application skills should be a focus in case of chemistry. It is important because questions asked in JE nowadays are application based. So you will not be able to answer them if you do not have a conceptual clarity. It's always important to understand the concepts rather than cramming it. Chemistry is divided into three sections. Physical chemistry, inorganic chemistry and organic chemistry. What we have analyzed over the past few years that almost equal number of questions come from all three sections. So it would be better if you give equal weightage to every section while revising the topics. Do not leave or deprioritize any section. January exams chemistry portion was rather easy if compared with physics and mathematics. And questions came from almost every chapter. So it's better not to skip any topic as far as chemistry is concerned. There may be a lot to study, but remember that chemistry is very scoring. Special attention should be given to the topics like mole concept, electrochemistry and chemical equilibrium. As far as inorganic chemistry is concerned, give more emphasis on the topics such as chemical bonding and coordination chemistry. Students are advised to first attempt theoretical questions than the one which required calculations. This means first finish off with the inorganic chemistry section and then jump to the physical and organic chemistry section. In this video, we have picked some hot questions from the January's paper and we will be looking on how to approach a question and how to avoid those little silly mistakes which students tend to make while attempting the question in an exam hall. Let's take an illustration. Two identical metal blocks having temperature T1 and T2 are kept in contact. In this question, we have to determine the change in entropy at constant pressure. As you can see, there are two blocks, block 1 and block 2. One is at, at temperature T1, two is at temperature T2. Assuming that temperature T1 is greater than T2, so there will be a heat transfer from block 1 to block 2. Considering heat capacity of the block at constant pressure as Cp. Both the blocks are identical in nature, so we can say the Cp value of both the blocks are same. Initially, the heat absorbed by the block 2 is equal to the heat given away by the block 1. And after a while, the equilibrium will be achieved and the heat transfer will be stopped. At equilibrium, the blocks will attain an equilibrium temperature that is Tf. Let's pause this video and try to attempt this question on your own. I hope you have attempted this question. Now let's just see what calculations are needed to solve this question. Heat given away by block 1 is equal to the heat absorbed by the block 2. And mathematically it can be written as minus Cp Tf minus T1 is equal to Cp Tf minus T2. And from this equation, Tf comes out to be T1 plus T2 upon 2. Now delta S1 is the change in entropy for block 1 and which can be written as integration of dQ1 upon T. And it comes out to be Cp ln Tf upon T1. Similarly, you can find out delta S2 and which comes out to be Cp ln Tf upon T2. 
Now delta S is the net change in entropy for both the blocks and which comes out to be Cp ln Tf square upon T1, T2 and you can put the value of Tf and it comes out to be Cp ln T1 plus T2 upon 2 ka whole square divided by T1, T2. I hope you understood how to approach this question and if the questions with a similar concept come again, you will be able to do it correctly. Let's take another illustration. Our reaction obeys Arrhenius equation for the temperature range 0 degree Celsius to 500 degree Celsius. In this question, you have to tell which of the following graphs is true. In graph 1, the variation of rate constant is given with activation energy. And in graph 2, the variation of rate constant is given with temperature. You have four options over here. Option A, both are correct. Option B, both are incorrect. Option C, one is correct, two is incorrect. And option D, one is incorrect and two is correct. Let's pause this video and try to attempt on your own. According to Arrhenius equation, k is equal to a e to the power minus ea by rt, where k is the rate constant, ea is the activation energy and t is temperature. The value of rate constant decreases exponentially with respect to ea according to this equation. So you can see the graph 1 is correct. Now the value of k increases with respect to temperature, but the value of k cannot be equal to 0 because for temperature 0 degree Celsius, temperature is equal to 273 Kelvin and always in this equation temperature should be put in Kelvins. So the graph 2 is also correct. Apart from this, here are some pointers for you. Be thorough with the exam pattern and syllabus. Attempt as many mock tests as you can so you are well rehearsed before the exam. Time and accuracy is the key while attempting the questions. So do pay attention to time while attempting the mock tests so that you can decrease your time per question. In the end, it is advised to stay calm and be confident with what you have studied and give your best shot on the exam day. We have a lot of videos for JEE which can help you to score more. The link is given in the description of this video. We also have an app with all the detailed videos for class 11th, 12th and several mock papers suited for JEE. You can download it now through the link given in the description. We will keep on releasing more videos for your exams. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned.